Hello, today we are going to talk about the iCloud backup for our iPads, and we are also going to work on Find My iPad, which is also part of that. So, uh, what I want you to do is just go to your home screen. So, what I'm looking at right now, yours should look fairly similar. And we want to select Settings. So, that's this one right here. I'm just kind of moving it around. And I want you to click on Settings or tap Settings, please. Now, once that opens, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff off to the left here. And I want you to scroll up and down on this one off to the left until you find the one that says iCloud, and I want you to click on that one. All right, so as we look through here, this is um, iCloud. And just to give you a little idea of what iCloud is, is it is a storage facility put on by Apple to hold on to all of our documents. So in case something happens, my iPad gets damaged, hopefully all of my information is being backed up. And this is being backed up off-site, meaning it's away from where we are. So if there's a fire in the building, God forbid, everything will be backed up somewhere far, far away, and we're not going to lose any data. So um, now you should have an account up at the top. Mine is for my email. But yours hopefully already says your account. Now below, some of mine are turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything on. And as I do this, sometimes it wants me to do different things like create an iCloud email. I don't want to do that. Someone hit cancel. I'll leave that up to you, but you probably do not want one. Okay, so, well, I guess my mail um, failed. Yours will probably work because uh, you might have different emails set up. It just depends. Safari, I'm going to turn that on. Ooh, would I like to merge my data with the iCloud? Up to you. You're not going to hurt anything if you do. So I'm just going to hit merge. Go ahead. Uh, my notes. I'm going to hit on. Okay. Would you like to create an iCloud email? No, I don't. So I guess mine doesn't work. My photos are being uploaded. My documents and data. That's going to be one of the more important ones. So I just tapped on that really quick so you could see. That's turned on. And this last one, find my iPad. In case your iPad gets stolen uh, or you lose it, this will help us to find it. So you want to tap to turn it on, and it says this enables Find My iPad features, including the ability to show the location of the iPad on a map. You want to click Allow, please. All right, so now that I have everything turned on that I want turned on, all right, next I want to hit Storage and Backup at the bottom here. So I'm going to tap that real quick. And this is showing me I have five gigabytes, and that's pretty much what everyone should have. You can change your storage plan and, uh, and purchase more if you would like, but default you have five gigabytes, and that's pretty big. And you'll see down here it says iCloud Backup, and right now mine is turned off. So since I want to back up everything on my iPad to this iCloud, I'm going to tap it once and turn it on. Now, instantly it comes up with this. Um, your iPad will no longer back up to your computer automatically when you sync with iTunes. This is okay for us because we don't back up our computer, our iPad, sorry, to our computers. So this is not a big deal. So I want you to click OK here. If you didn't get this message, that's okay as well. All right, and now turning on backup. This kind of takes a little while because once you hit backup now, it's going to back up everything on your iPad and you might have a lot of stuff on your iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and hit backup now and just kind of show you what you will see next. And it's going to say estimating time remaining and that little blue bar is going to crawl across the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait till it finishes and then I'm going to um, start recording again so you just get an idea of what you're going to see next. So um, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, now that I backed up mine, and it took me about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Yours might vary depending on how much information you have on there. Now, all this information is backed up to the iCloud. And if you want to access this information from anywhere you have an internet connection without your iPad, you can easily go to www.icloud.com, and then it will ask you to type in your username and information that you would normally use to log on and say iTunes. So um, anyhow, you're all set up now. 
I would recommend that you make a habit out of backing up your device at least once a week. So maybe do it as a Friday thing. You just tap back up now, and then you're good. And, you know, like I said, I would recommend doing it this way. And anytime you want to do this, you simply go into uh, your settings. And I'm just going to start over real quick. You would go into settings. And then you would tap down here where it says iCloud, and then you see where it says Storage and Backup. You would click that, and then Backup Now, and that will make a backup. And I can actually hit Backup and then go back to my home screen and be doing other things while it's backing up. So you're not limited to just hitting Backup, and that's all you can do. You can do other things while this is happening. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please feel free and contact me. Thank you, and have a